Hey there, fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's Room. Today, we're back in Sao Paulo, Brazil. I used to live here, and I loved my time here. And when I've been here, I've noticed some mistakes that tourists make on their first visit to Sao Paulo, but also like on their fourth or fifth visit to Sao Paulo too. So today we have for you are the typical mistakes that tourists make when they come here to Sao Paulo, Brazil. And I'm gonna start with this one. Look, no matter where you are, no matter where you're coming from, you will be underestimating the traffic here in Sao Paulo. O trânsito é um desastre. The traffic is a disaster here. No matter where you go, it'll take you an hour to an hour and a half. It doesn't matter if it's close or far away. No, it's gonna take an hour to an hour and a half because the traffic is insane. It is so full all the time that you think, oh, it's just right down the way. And then you get stuck in traffic again and again and again. Honestly, we've been we've lost hours every day in Sao Paulo just stuck in traffic, okay? So don't underestimate that. And that means if you gotta go catch your plane at Gorulhos or Congonhas, you, you need to factor that in. Don't be like, oh, well, Google says it's only this far. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Use Waze, by the way, because that has the traffic and it'll show you how bad it can be because, oh man, the traffic here is just one of those things that'll drive you nuts, all right? I just I just wanted to get you that out of the way first. Now, another thing I think tourists kind of miss out when they come here is actually some of the museums and cultural sites you could enjoy when you're here because honestly, this is like the museum capital of Brazil. So they have some really great museum, Maspe, the Museum of Art of Sao Paulo. It's this cool building that you go up into right on Avenida Paulista and you can go there. Fantastic collection of art. The Contemporary Art Museum is wonderful to see as well. There's a football, or a football, a, a soccer museum you could go to here and learn about it. You could do tours of some of the stadiums, you know, Sao Paulo FC, O Tricolore, you can go visit that stadium too and see that. But there's all kinds of great kind of cultural things you can do when you're here. For example, one of my favorite museums, they've recently redone it, is the Immigration Museum. Because what you have to realize is Brazil is a country of immigration, but Sao Paulo is really a city of immigration, like really big time. And so they have a fantastic museum that talks about all the immigration that came here to Brazil from Italy, from Portugal, from the Confederacy in the U.S. Yes, there was Confederates that came down here after the Civil War in the U.S. I mean, it's such, such a great collection of memorabilia, historic items, but stories as well. And if you want to see some green space, you can go to the Ibirapuera Park. And in there, there's some nice buildings and monuments that are there. The the Bandera, the Banderas monument is there. That's the obelisk. We have all the, the, the very stately looking guys standing up there. That's actually a really important site here in Sao Paulo to visit. So that's something you can do. I mean, there's the, the Mercado Municipal, the, the city market you can go to, which is always fun. Uh, you've got the Teatro Municipal, the, the, the theater here. There's a lot of really cool cultural sites to see. And a lot of people don't think about that because they think of Brazil as, oh, it's just beaches and sun, and they don't think about all the other cultural things that can be here. I mean, you can get see the Se, the cathedral, you can go visit there. If you want to go out of town a little bit, Imbu. Imbu is like, has all these artists that are there you can go to, and, and it's it's like artists that are there, but also you can get like great food when you're there too. So it's really kind of a fun outdoorsy, indoorsy, outdoorsy kind of thing when you go to Imbu. My mom loved it when I was there. I took her there a couple times when we lived here, but it's a fun place to be. But there's a lot of these museums and cultural things you can do when you're here in Sao Paulo that people don't really kind of think of. And that's why it leads into my next mistake that tourists make when they come to Sao Paulo is they think that Sao Paulo is a beach tourist destination. There is no beach. Well, there's the rivers, and but you don't want to be in the rivers. You don't want to go on rivers. <laughs> no way. This is not a beach place. You are not bringing your thongs and, well, you're not bringing your swimsuit uh, to go to the beach here. I mean, you can go to the pool at the hotel, but yeah, this is not a beach place. There's no beach here. Like, this is not Rio. This is not Recife. This is Sao Paulo. This is a working city. You know, so it's got great shopping. It's got great, you know, theaters. It's got great entertainment. It's got great food. But no, yeah, don't, don't think this is going to be a beach place to be here. And honestly, as someone that travels a lot, and I love Sao Paulo because I lived here, and that's the key thing. I lived here. So living, working, eating, shopping here is great. But as a tourist... I actually don't even have Sao Paulo in my top 10 places to visit in Brazil list. Though you probably will be here because you'll probably fly into Guruyus because that's where a lot of the international flights fly into. Now that we got those big mistakes out of the way, I think another mistake, kind of set of mistakes I got to talk about is about the mistakes people make about the food here in Sao Paulo. Because Sao Paulo is a city of immigration, you have great food from all over the world. Japanese food, Lebanese food, yes, Brazilian food that's here as well from all over Brazil and the people who've come. I mean, Honestly, if you're looking at major cities around the world that have great restaurant scenes, yes, London, New York, Sao Paulo is one of those cities as well that you need great international cuisine. I highly recommend Japanese and Lebanese food. They're near the top. Their Italian food here, they have good Italian food, but it's definitely 
a Brazilian Italian mix, would you go have it? So don't be afraid to uh, not eat Brazilian food, but have some of the international fare here as well. This is where I fell in, with, fell in love with Lebanese food. Oh my God, it's so good. So you can get some, grab some. Now, my next mistake, it also kind of relates to food, is that is the people that don't try all the different fruits they offer you when you go to the Mercado Municipal. Honestly, the most fun you're gonna have when you come here to Sao Paulo is going to the Mercado Municipal, the, the city market, and they have stall after stall after food. And people are like, oh, try this, try this. They'll cut it up and give you some. Go ahead, get some here, try it. Even if you don't buy some, like, oh, just try it, it's good. I mean, you have fruit you've never seen before. You have fruit, like, that looks like a grape and a peanut had a baby. Yeah, it's the peanut grape. Like. What? <laughs> I mean, it's so many great things. Uh, my favorite one, well, actually, Jocelyn's favorite, and I love this one too, is the natural chocolate covered strawberry. What it is, it's a date and a strawberry together. No, oh, it's so good. But the thing you have to eat when you're there, and you're making a mistake if you don't eat it when you go to the uh, Mercado Municipal, is having a mortadella sandwich. A basically a, a sliced bologna sandwich heated up. Oh my God, it's so good. And I mean, I know it sounds silly like mortadella bologna. What, what's the big deal? No, no, you have to have it when you're there. That is a big thing. There'll be some shops there that sell that. And what's cool is you have like the ground floor has all the like the little kiosk kind of thing. And then upstairs there's some restaurants. So you can get a pastel or you can get some of the salgados, the like savory treats that are there too. So you'll be good, but don't miss out on that. That would be, be a big mistake. Now I know I spent all that time talking about the international fair and I mentioned the Brazilian fair, but also I think this is another mistake. If you don't get a chance to go around all of Brazil, you're making a mistake by not trying a lot of different Brazilian foods when you're here in Sao Paulo because people have immigrated from all over the country to live here because, again, this is the best place for work, shopping, eating, going out. So it's drawn in a lot of people and they've brought their food. So you can get really good vatapá or acarajé, the rodízios here, the, the meat places. Yes, you can get the picanha meats here. They're all over. But, yeah, don't miss out on the Brazilian food either because I think that's a mistake. So do explore a lot of the other different types of Brazilian food you can have here in Sao Paulo. Then my next mistake I see tourists make is they come to Sao Paulo and they bring just their usual Brazilian tourist gear. You know, flip-flops, Bermuda shorts, and a t-shirt. Yeah, you, you can do that, but I think you should know if you're coming to Sao Paulo, they dress up a bit more here when they go out. Like, not like super go out, but it's a little bit higher, a little more elevated here. So like if you're going out to the clubs, they have some great clubs here, and you're dressed in flip-flops, shorts, and a t-shirt, you might not get in. Some restaurants might not let you in if you look like garbage, okay? So you gotta maybe um, pack just like a nice shirt with a collar or something when you're coming here. I have that nice sundress or whatever when you're gonna go out just so or a fun party dress. Have something because honestly, this is the like the, the nicest dress city in the entire country. And if you don't have anything, don't worry about it because another mistake people make is they skip out on shopping in Sao Paulo. Look, if Brazilians want to buy something in Brazil, they go to Sao Paulo. Because if it's not in Sao Paulo, it is not in Brazil, okay? So you have great places to shop in here. There's tons of fantastic malls from high-end stuff to more fun, like the like, everyday mall stuff you see around the world. You go to Avenida Paulista and go to some of the shops there. I mean, there's a lot of really cool neighborhoods you can shop in as well. So you have plenty of opportunities for shopping. I know that's one thing Jocelyn and my, my sister-in-law, well, he's my exchange student brother, his wife, Anita, they're going shopping this afternoon. It's been one of Jocelyn. She's like, oh, we're going shopping with Anita in Sao Paulo. I mean, because you could do some really cool shopping. And what's great is in Brazil, they have all sizes. So even I can find cool clothes here. Now, if you're going to go shopping, look, you can pay with credit card pretty much everywhere when you're here. Okay, just have a heads up for that. That's not a problem. But also, sometimes you want to have cash. And I think a mistake people make here in Sao Paulo is they'll take out cash for an ATM that's not inside a bank. Look, if you're going to get cash, you're going to need cash. Go inside the bank and take your money out there. So maybe you need to go during the day because maybe the bank's closed at night. You want to do that. You don't want to do your ATMs outside. You want to do the ATMs inside the bank because there is a safety issue you have to think about. A technological mistake I see tourists make is not downloading two specific apps. One is Uber. Look, Uber is a thing here in Sao Paulo. You want to have that to trace your car where you are. It makes things a lot easier. The people in Sao Paulo love Uber, like love, 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 love Uber. I mean, I've had them ask me, Hey, do you guys have Uber in the U.S.? I'm like, yeah, we do. It's like, oh, it's great. You get, I'm like, yeah, okay. So you want to have that to get around because the taxis don't have the best reputation here. And the second app you want to download is WhatsApp. And WhatsApp, a lot, it's popular over the world, but from the U.S., you might not have heard of it. It's basically you can call and text with it, and it's based off your number. And you'll see stores that'll just have WhatsApp numbers or text numbers, or your Uber driver will just WhatsApp you. So have those two apps, Uber and WhatsApp. Those are two things you have to download before you come to Sao Paulo. Now, as a traveler, we're gonna be probably flying into Sao Paulo, and I think 
Uh, we're flying out, and this is one thing I want to make everyone well aware. It's a mistake that tourists make and they miss their flights for, and that is thinking it'll be quick to get to, check in, and go through security at Guruyus. Guru, the international airport, it takes time. Look, I'm not going to lie to you. When they say be there three hours early, be there three hours early. This isn't one of those show up last minute kind of places because sometimes the lines can be insane. Sometimes it's not bad, but I've flown enough times out of Guruyus that, yeah, I'm like, yeah, we can be there three hours early or a bit more just because, you know, I get a little worried with that. And going along with the airport thing, another mistake people make is they don't realize it's actually two main airports here in Sao Paulo. Yeah, Gurus, Gru, which is the big one that's for international flights. So you'd be flying in from the US or, or Spain or Portugal, you'll fly into there. And then you have Congonhas. And Congonhas Airport is for domestic flights. So let's say you're staying in Sao Paulo for a bit, you wanna to fly to Rio, or you wanna to fly to see the Iguazu Falls, or you wanna fly up to Manaus to go see the Amazon. That flight will probably be from Congonhas, okay? And that one's in town, like in the city, so it's a little bit faster to get to. And let's just put it faster to get to. So when you're thinking about Gurus and Congonhas, you're trying to figure out how you're gonna get there. Um, and you might think, oh, we'll drive out, though, we'll run a car, we'll drive around town. That is a mistake. You never want to drive in Sao Paulo if you don't have to. That's why they have all the Ubers that'll take care of you. I know I mentioned how crazy the traffic is because it is totally crazy, but I just want to reemphasize that parking is not a fun thing and driving is not a fun thing in Sao Paulo. And a mistake that when people do rent a car and they do drive around, the mistake they have is they don't have like small bills to pay the parking guys. Now, I'm not talking about the official parking attendants. I'm talking about the guys that'll walk up and down the street with a car saying, hey, uh, how about a couple of reals to make sure your car is okay? And you better give them money because here's the thing. If you give them money, there's no guarantee that actually something will happen to your car. But if you don't give them money, there's definitely a better chance that something bad will happen to your car. Okay, so have a couple of reals, two to five reals just to give to those parking guys that are walking around. I mean, they'll probably charge you more if you're like in a better parking area, but... Just be aware of that because that's one mistake I've seen. People get really pissed off when their rental car has a broken window or a scratch or something like that. So just have that money for those parking people, all right? And if you don't want to drive around town, which I don't recommend to do, another mistake I see people make is they don't use the metro. I mean, the metro in Sao Paulo goes a lot of places. Now, it doesn't go everywhere. It's not perfect for tourists, but honestly, public transportation like the metro, the buses can be helpful. You do need to pay attention, especially on the buses and well, actually on the metro too but it is something that can help. There's actually a train that will go out to Gurus Airport that may, might, might make your life easier when you're staying here. And speaking of staying, I think another mistake people make is they don't stay in the center. Look, you wanna stay by Avenida Paulista, you wanna stay in Jardines, you wanna stay down in that area because honestly, staying in like Alphaville, which is a really nice place to be, it's so far from town that you're gonna lose a lot of time going to the cathedral, going to the mosque, going to the Teatro Municipal, you know, the you know, Mercado Municipal as well. You're going to lose so much time. It's better to stay in the center, even if you have some like nice options outside. It's just a mistake for a time sense. And no matter where you're staying or where you're going, I think another important uh, mistake tourists need to realize they shouldn't make is throwing toilet paper down the toilet. Not every toilet in Sao Paulo can actually accept toilet paper, let's say. So you might notice there's a bin next to the toilet seat and there's a bin next to the toilet seat. That's probably where you need to put your toilet paper. Yes, I know it's gross, but you know what? That's the way it is. So just be aware of it because you really don't want the pipes like coming back at you because yuck. Now moving on from that, let's talk about a food related topic. <laughs> and this is consumption cards. A mistake I see people make was they don't take their consumption card serious. And if you're not sure what a consumption card is, let's say you go out to a club or sometimes you go like to a cafeteria, they'll give you a card when you come in. And what you'll do is you'll pay for everything with that card and then you only pay at the end of the night when you leave the club, you give them your consumption card and then you pay there with your credit card or whatever. And the thing is, if you lose that consumption card, it can be a huge problem and cost you a lot of money, okay? so. Don't make the mistake of losing that consumption card because honestly, I've seen some people get into fights about it. And if you're at a club and like, oh, I lost, I don't know. They're like, there's an ATM right there. You need to pay the like $200, $300 fee for not having it, okay? So it, it can be a thing. And don't think by saying you lost, you don't know where it is, that they're gonna let you get out of it because they'll be like, oh, look, there's an ATM right there. We take credit cards, whatever works best for you, sir. So do not lose that consumption card because that can be a little bit of a safety thing sometimes you feel when you do, if you do lose it, okay? Now, speaking of safety, I think that's another mistake people make. What you have to realize is Sao Paulo is a mega city. 
and a mega city has mega city problems, just like city problems, but mega city problems. So you do need to take extra care when you're going around. I knew so many tourists when I lived here that would literally come and they'd like wear fancy jewelry and fancy clothes all the time and they would get robbed. Like they would get robbed like on a bus or on the street. I mean, it happened. And the thing is they would keep the next day, they'd be back out with rings. I'm like, no, no, don't wear your rings. Don't wear those fancy clothes when you're going out during the day and you're going to see your sightseeing. If you're going to go to a club, yes, that's when you're going to dress up. Or you go to a restaurant, then you dress up for that. But going around and sightseeing, you don't want to wear the bling. You don't want to wear fancy stuff. You don't want to draw attention to yourself. You know, I'm filming this in, in the Alphaville part of the town because it's a lot more chillax area. I'm not worried about things because honestly, you like in the evening times or in the late afternoon times, you don't want to walk alone in some places. And there are parts of Sao Paulo you don't go to. And here's the thing. As a tourist, the bad parts of Sao Paulo, you're not going to go to anyway. So it's not that big of an issue. But honestly, you do need to pay attention. Like if you're by the cathedral, where some of those sites are, have pay extra attention, okay? And that's why I recommend, you know, take an Uber instead of a taxi because those things can be tracked. Subways, make sure you're paying attention. All the subway rules you know around the world, use them here as well, all right? So don't make the mistake of not taking your safety seriously when you are here. Now, don't let it keep you from coming here, but it's just something you just need to be aware of when you're here. And then I want to finish with this most important, most impactful, most life-changing mistake that tourists could make when they come here. And that mistake is not cheering for Sao Paulo FC. You know, Sao Paulo, Tricolori, the best soccer team, the best football team in Sao Paulo. Because honestly, if you meet someone that, you know, cheers for Corinthians or Palmeiras, you shouldn't let your kids date those people because they obviously have problems because only true people from Sao Paulo, they cheer for Sao Paulo, Tricolore. So remember that when you come here, maybe take in a game when you do come to Sao Paulo. Anyway, what are some other mistakes you've seen as a tourist here in Sao Paulo? Let us know in the comments below. We hope you have a great time. We got plenty of videos out here to help you enjoy more of visiting Brazil and Sao Paulo, the don'ts of Sao Paulo, shocks of Sao Paulo, what to eat in Sao Paulo, things in Brazil, South America, Europe, Asia, the US, all over on our website at waltersworld.com. And I'll say adeus from here in Sao Paulo.